what's up y'all welcome back to the channel so today's video as y'all can tell by the title down below i am basically going to show you guys my simple curly hair routine that i've been doing lately and uh yeah there's a big ass bug in front of me watching me doing this video let me just turn the damn camera around because i'm sitting in front of the uh window yeah. <laughs> wow what an intro this is what I'm going to be using for my hair today. I'm currently using the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils. And most importantly, my favorite product, which is the Jamaican Castor Oil. I always put this on my hair before I apply any product. I'm going to tell you guys why while I'm doing my hair. So, boom. Basically, the oil is just, you know, oiling your hair on a regular benefits and promote hair growth also it kind of protects your scalp from like all these products that you're about to put on your hair you know stuff like that so that's why i always put oil and massage my hair especially my scalp i also apply this oil on my ends because baby we are trying to save these ends. This is what the hair we are working with today. And we're gonna see the result afterwards. So what I always like to do when I do my curly hair routine or just, you know, trying to get my curls popping is to part my hair into two section. But let me go ahead and try to do something different today. I am going to separate my hair this way. I want to save my middle part for when I get to the top. I will have to part my hair again. Oh my goodness. So first, we're going in with our water. You gotta spray it a lot of water your hair got to be super 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 duper wet for the product to sit and actually do its thing so make sure it's super wet then i go in with my detangling brush my unbrush is broken it's broke and now i'm using the wig brush to detangle my hair so I go in with brushing my hair out make sure it's tangled and then now we go in with our products I don't usually use a lot of products on my hair unless I want my curls to be popping so today we are taking a risk of using this much okay per section this is how much I use for the whole hair but today we are taking that risk of wanting to get our curls popping since I'm going to be outside today. I want my curls to be, you know what I'm saying? Brush it out. Coming from this way, going out. And then let the curls do its thing. And then you kind of like want to scrunch it. Somebody told me to use the clip to clip it up while you're doing the other parts. So now I'm going to clip them up to this section right here while I'm doing the other parts. So we're going to part our hair again like that. And then kind of do the same thing like you did with the first section. Spray it with a lot of water. And you can kind of want to repeat this throughout the whole hair so that way you can get the best results of curls. Just clip that one up and then do the middle part. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to fast forward this whole process, but basically repeat the same thing I did for the back um, throughout my whole hair. And yeah.
so now that we already put everything on our head the last thing we're going to do is diffuse our curls and today we're going to be using the Timo hair diffuser when I diffuse my curls I always bring them forward and then set the uh, temperature to low basically scrunch it up so another thing I like to do to keep the scrunch up of all my hair is to scrunch it all together and then use a big claw clip and claw it like that and then diffuse it Uh, see the curls are not really popping but this is something I can work with while trying to maintain my healthy hair you know and not apply too much product uh, this is the only time that I apply a lot of product to my hair is when I do these videos and also trying to get the curls popping but on a daily I really don't use a lot of products except for my oil and cash oil so that's that but to get my 2c hair to kind of like 3a 3b this is what i'm uh this is what i do thank you guys for watching